Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is March 10th, 2022. And I want to give you guys an update uh, from Hal Turner Radio Show program that says there's a report from Russia that came out. What does this mean? Friday evening will be beautiful for the whole world. Talking about March 11th. Okay, March 11th. Friday evening will be beautiful for the whole world. Okay, I want to remind everybody that in recent years, March 11th has had terrible uh, things that have happened. March 11th, taking us back to the Madrid terrorist attack on the train system in uh, Madrid, and uh, that happened on March 11th, 2004. September 11th will always be a day of national tragedy for the United States. In Spain today, March 11th now has similar infamy. In Madrid this morning, more than 190 people were killed and more than 1,400 injured when 10 separate bombs ripped through commuter trains and railway platforms during rush hour. The scene was horrific. Bodies and body parts everywhere. The Spanish Prime Minister called it simply mass murder. Who was responsible? It could be Spanish terrorists, it could be Islamic terrorists, it could be both. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, the attack itself, and ABC's Charles Glass in Madrid. The blast that ripped through Madrid's early morning commuter train sent blood and metal flying. Ambulances rushed more than a thousand wounded to city hospitals, and the government set up centers for people to identify the bodies of missing loved ones. This young woman says she was just behind one of the cars when it exploded. Everyone started running and they were covered in blood, she says. It was horrendous. And this man saw bodies scattered everywhere. He says some were burning and screaming. Dazed survivors wandered along the tracks and police rushed to a scene of horror with trains torn to pieces and parts of human bodies in crushed train cars. The timing when most people were on their way into work appeared designed to cause the maximum number of civilian casualties. The next disaster of course was March 11th, 2011 in Japan, the Fukushima tsunami. All across northern Japan, they felt it. A violent magnitude 9.0 earthquake on March 11, 2011. It was centered about 80 miles offshore and tsunami warnings went up immediately. In coastal cities, people knew what to do next, run to higher ground. It's from these vantage points on hills and in tall buildings that incredible footage was captured. In Kesanuma, people retreated to a high-rise rooftop and could only watch in horror as tsunami waves inundated their city, knocking buildings into rubble and mixing into a kind of tsunami soup filled with vehicles, building parts, and contents. Seawater cascaded over sea walls and into cities. This video shows the water rushing over an 18-foot seawall in the Kamaishi City. The seawall here was the world's deepest and largest, but not enough for the magnitude of the March 11 disaster. It was the largest quake ever known in Japan, and one of the five largest recorded in the world. More than 28,000 people are confirmed dead or missing. And last but not least, we have March 11th. 2020, the day everything changed when the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly. It's a word that if misused 
can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over, leading to unnecessary suffering and death. So after seeing that in recent history, March 11, 2004 in Madrid, March 11, 2011 in Japan, March 11, 2020 in the entire world, what could be planned for March 11, 2022? Friday evening will be beautiful for the whole world. We are watching Piram between March 15th and March 18th. Could March 11th be a worldwide disaster as a seven-day warning to Shushan Piram on March 18th? I want to show you a clip from the iPet Goat movie that shows before the rapture on a full moon March 18th there is a full moon on Shushan Piram full moon of March 18th before the full moon there is a nuclear explosion in the I pet goat and then after the rapture of the church during a full moon it shows the arrival of the Antichrist. So as we are looking at March 11th as a possible day of a great disaster, this may be a seven day warning to the full moon rapture on Piram March 18th and the arrival of the Antichrist. The end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. And above all things have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins.